Hello folks, uh, no, one sec. Okay. Hello folks, I'm OwnSpec33, and welcome back to the Pokemon Trading Card Game, part number 12. On the last part, I defeated Rick, the club master of the science club, and uh, we got the medal for doing that. We got his, uh, his science club medal. So, because we got that, we can check out the science uh, machine, which is this one, that's the psychic one. Uh, the science one is right here, sorry. And we'll insert a science medal, and you can actually build four of the decks that we saw inside the club. No lovely Nelran, Flying Pokemon, Poison, and Wonders of Science. All four were used. I'm pretty sure the Poison one was used. I think the first opponent might have been just the Poison deck. Uh, we did not see Science Corpse deck, which is just a bunch of random Poison Pokemon, pretty much. And Meowth. <laughs> no, uh, no, no sciencey stuff like Pokedex or computer search trainers or anything like that, so it was kind of dumb. I figure science would be more like Magnemite and stuff too. But hey, I didn't make this game. So we're gonna, before we go take on the next club, uh, which by the way, we had, I had three people vote. One voted for Lightning, one voted for Fighting, and one voted for Psychic. One not voted for Fire is the one we're gonna go to because uh, no one voted for that. And, and it was a three-way tie. So, uh, Dr. Mason here has an email about how to beat Rick, which we've already done. After you beat a few members of the club, I'm pretty sure you can read these emails before you actually take on the opponent. Uh, and he'll always give you a booster pack, which has Haunter, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I have a Haunter yet, so this is actually useful, because I have Gengar. Uh, this is the Fossil Star Rare uh, Haunter, who uh, can prevent uh, effects done to him by attacks by flipping heads. So this can be a very effective stall, however he only has 50 hit points. And Nightmare here always puts you to sleep and does 10, da 10 damage too, so not bad. Alright, and there's another Gambler. That's cool. Some some basic Pokemon. And Dr. Mason sends me a little winky face. Alright, so... <laughs> we're gonna go to the Fire Club, which is the next place. Which is just right up here. Uh, I actually had to do this again. There's actually a guy in the lobby here, the fire club, who wants all the energy cards out of your, uh, that aren't in your decks. So if you say yes, then you lose all of them. Um, and then he tells you a secret. Uh, check the wall, two tiles left of the bookcase. Okay, so there's something hidden basically right here. Uh, and there's a level 9 Slowpoke, which is a promotional card, one of the rare cards in the game. Uh, this one here can do a headbutt for 10 damage, and uh, Amnesia can prevent the defending Pokemon from using attack. If it only has one, you, you've messed him over, he can't do anything. Uh, so it can be very effective for stalling. Uh, the reason... Okay, so what I did in advance for this is I actually made two decks that just had a bunch of, like, all my energies except for, like, one card. Because I don't, I think you might need one to give him. Uh, but now that that's done, we're going to dismantle them. So I didn't, I only lost a fire energy, basically. So let's dismantle this. Uh, so I had to retake this because I didn't realize if you say no to him, I don't think he comes back, like, ever again. And uh, the th sad part is, Dr. Mason's booster p pack had a Clefable in it, which I traded uh, to his Isahara for uh, the surfing Pikachu, so you don't get to see that now, unfortunately. Uh, Mania is like, I'm burning with fever. Yeah, I, I know he wants to do that, but I can't do that now. That was a previous recording that no one saw. So anyway, what deck am I using today? Well, suggested by Kilroy XD09, we got the Aqua Rockin' deck which was a fighting water fighting suggested by him the fighting being primor primarily rock pokemon i figured i'd use a water to help me out in the fire club so i was kind of looking for like a water themed deck and uh... i'm using blastoise this is kind of a bad setup but i mean it is a setup to work for blastoise it's possible um, but i got ominite and Amastar, as well as kabuto and kabutops the two fossil pokemon from red and blue and uh, so no Aerodactyl, I don't have Aerodactyl uh, quite yet. But uh, you need Mysterious Fossils to evolve them, uh, as well as Aerodactyl, I'm pretty sure, as well. Uh, so I got I got both of those, um, I got four Mysterious Fossil Trainer cards, which can't do anything on their own, but like I said, you have to use them in set, uh, to set up for uh, Kabuto and Kabutops, which can be very useful. 
Uh, Ammonite's really cool. Its Pokemon power makes your opponent play with uh, his or her hand face up, so you can look at their cards the entire time. So it's pretty useful. Well, anywho, let's see how this deck fares against the Fire Club. Let's take on the first guy here, John, just a Fire Club. Alright, join the Fire Fun. Of course, we're gonna duel you, that's the whole purpose of this game. Here's the Anger deck. Look at his fire club. He's got a red background. I got a red background too. It's kind of like a lighter. It's kind of almost pinkish. Uh, neither of us have any basic Pokemon in our hand, so there's me showing my hand to him, and then there's his hand. So he's got fire, double colorless. So he's got Dodrio. So he's got some colorless guys in here too, which is really good because I got fighting. Fighting is good against uh, co most colorless Pokemon. Not Dodrio, however. Um, the reason it's not good against Dodrio is because uh, Dodrio is a bird colorless, which means it's weak to lightning and it's actually resistant to fighting, so that's actually not good. Alright, but anywho, and, and both of us have one Pokemon down, so hopefully I can go first here. Okay, well, that didn't work out. There's Rattata, like I can take out Rattata real fast here. Uh, if I got, if I get some stuff together here. Alright, so we got two Gabuto, so we'll use Bill, uh, draw some more cards here. A uh, mysterious fossil. This this is what I want. This allows me to uh, set up for Kabuto and actually Kabutops. Uh, Kabutops is Pokemon power, so both of them have Pokemon powers. All three of the fossil evolve uh, have Pokemon powers, which is actually kind of neat. Kind of a cool uh, little thing they put in. Uh, but basically, what this does is it rounds down the damage done to Kabuto by half. I mean, it only has 30 hit points, so this is actually very helpful for it. Um, so, I think I'm going to use Rhydon to stall and actually going to build up... Can you attach... Yeah, you can attach energies to, uh, to Mysterious Fossil, so that's good. I'm going to use that, and I'm actually going to use Computer Search here uh, to discard one of the Kabutos and Water Energy. And in search for that, we're going to get a Kabutops, hopefully not one of my prizes. And it's not. Um, one of the Ammonites appears to be and as well as one of my Squirtles, so it's actually very helpful once you uh, use a card like this to actually look through your deck to see what uh, what prizes are actually in it, because um, this could help you out in theory uh, for any setups that you have, so it's helpful to know that there's one Squirtle in there. Uh, my Graveler is, is in there as well, I only have one Graveler, and apparently two of my Geodudes, because I'm pretty sure I, I might, no I think I only have two Geodudes and one Graveler. Alright, but that's useful to know. And a bill, I'm pretty sure, yep, yeah, one of my bills is in there as well. Anywho, uh, let's get out Kabutops here. And a computer search, you don't actually have to show what you uh, you drew to your opponent, so that's pretty useful. And we can't evolve Pokemon on the first turn, so we're going to have to wait a turn. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Rattata is going to own me pretty hard right here. Uh, he's gonna t take me out real fast here. So I need to get Mysterious Fossil up here and then get Kabuto on that. And then, uh, with Kabuto, we can get Kabutops next turn, which can do a lot of damage. Kabutops, very powerful. Uh, 30 damage with two energies is good. One retreat cost. Uh, his disadvantage is that he only has 60 hit points. For a stage 2, that's very low. Alright, but that's not going to matter, because if he doesn't draw a Pokemon, which he hasn't, I'm going to take him out. This is going to be the shortest duel ever. You don't get to see him his, his fire Pokemon, uh, because I'm going to take him out this turn right here with uh, Kabutops. This is very well played. Well, I guess kind of lucky, I guess. But being weak to fighting, that's going to do uh, 60 damage. And he's got no bench, so we've... Look at that. We already want to duel. Only there's Bill. So there you go. First duel won. Alright, so we're going to get uh, Evolution Booster Pack, which is pretty sweet. Get a Machamp. I think that's our first Machamp. Um, Machamp's Pokemon power is if any any of our uh, attacks damage him, uh, you do 10 damage back with Machamp. Uh, and then Seismic Toss does 60 damage, which is a lot of damage, and it's got 100 hit points. Uh, this card actually came with all the starter decks that uh, were originally released at the Pokemon Training Card Game. A little fun fact there. Oh, another Eevee. Sweet. I can actually maybe verify having an actual Eevee deck soon. 
I need another one though. I need four EVs uh, to make that happen. And look, we got another Machamp. Ew, and another War Turtle. Sweet. That's that's good. I might maybe I might modify my deck right now. Uh, another Squirtle would have been nice. There's my other Eevee, so that's sweet right there. Uh, I might actually modify my deck here and, and put another uh, put a War Turtle in it. Uh, but we have to take something out though. I'll take out a Fighting Energy. I'll take out Fighting Energy for War Turtle. That's fun. There we go. There you go. You get to see some deck modification on the fly. I haven't actually. I gotta actually make a part where I actually show me making a deck. I don't think I've shown that yet. I just kind of put them together. I just kind of decide what to put in it. And there's no. There's not a whole lot of thought process. I usually make them before the part starts. But here's Adam. Do I have the fever? Or yeah. You know I have the fever. Let's duel. All right. And so he's got the flamethrower deck. So. Just based on the title alone, it's going to use the attack Flamethrower, Ember, Fire Blast, anything that discards energies. Um, so there's, a, there's another War Turtle right there. We got Omanyte and Omastar. That's pretty sweet. If we, get a if we can get a Mysterious Fossil, uh, we can do some uh, good damage here. And look at this, like no basic Pokemon. We're, we're, these might be the, like the two shortest duels ever. Especially because Magmar is not a good Pokemon to go against first. This thing can do a lot of damage real fast. And I got Rhydon, thankfully. Um, but Rhydon takes like a lot of a lot to build up on its own as well. I think we can do Leer uh, with one. Uh, why was I not using Leer? Oh, because I didn't have any energies on him. Uh, but we can use Leer. Uh, we, we've seen this used against us before. It's kind of weird. Now we're using Rhyhorn to our advantage to stall. Uh, but. Because he's gonna get 30 damage right here, and I really need. Okay, I need some luck on my side right here, Professor Oak. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually discard my hand and evolve right now, because unfortunately, as, as cool as that uh, Omanyte and Omastar setup is, I need uh, I need some basic Pokemon so I don't. Uh, if he gets a flamethrower off on me, I'm gonna die. Well, I won't with Rhydon, but I mean, I do need some stuff here. Here we go. There's Bill. Give me some more cards here. There's a Graveler and Water Energy. So we got some stuff on our bench now. Onyx and Squirtle. There we go. That's a little bit. Oh, sucks that we had to get rid of War Turtle, but thankfully, I put one another one in my deck, so it's possible we could draw that other one. Maybe get Blastoise going. But anyway, uh, Rhydon can't do anything with two energies now, so this kind of sucks. He's gonna use Bill. He's gonna have another energy. This deck is clearly based around uh, energy cards. He's gonna have more than enough to use Flamethrower on me. He's gonna use Fire Punch. He's gonna save it for the next turn. That may or may not be a good strategy for him. Uh, we'll see what I can do here. If I attach an energy to Rhydon, then I can at least do 30 damage to him. And then I can use Squirtle next turn to take him out. So we'll do that. Uh, yeah, we'll use Horn Attack. He's gonna kill me next turn uh, with a Flamethrower. But I mean, we'll use Squirtle to take him out. He's only got a full picks on his bench. So he's got another Magmar, that's not good. And apparently no other energies, because he didn't attach one. I mean, he would have built up his bench. Alright, so let's pull out Squirtle here. Uh, Squirtle. I don't think we've I don't think we've really used Squirtle yet. Um, Squirtle, we've seen used against us a lot. Uh, but he can do 10 damage, plus a coin flip for Paralyze. And then Withdraw can prevent all damage done to Squirtle with a coin flip as well. Uh, but Magmar is weak to water, so we're going to do uh, 20 damage to him. We're just going to take him out with uh, Bubble. Doesn't even matter if we get heads. We didn't even, anyway. There's a little unique animation, I think, for Bubble. There might be a Bubble Beam attack as well. I'm not too certain on that. There's an Onyx. Uh, good staller. Uh, because it's a basic Pokemon, it's got 90 hit points, and has an ability to uh, prevent damage done to it. Or at least reduce the damage. Alright, so here's Bill here, uh, fighting, and there's another Squirtle, so we'll get that on our bench there. Uh, we're gonna build up that Squirtle, actually. Because I, I like I like building up, like, fresh Pokemon, so that they when they come into play, they're gonna have full hit points to do some damage. Uh, Blastoise actually only requires three water energies to do its attack, uh, which is the lowest uh, cost of any of the uh, Kanto starters. That's uh, Charizard, uh, Venusaur, and Blastoise. However, it's the lowest damage 
Uh, it can be improved. Oh, there's War Turtle. Perfect. We'll evolve our benched Squirtle right there. Build him up right there. Okay. I can put another Onyx on the bench there. Uh, but uh, his uh, Blastoise's Pokemon Power Rain Dance allows you to attach as many water energies to any of your water Pokemon. And, like, in a single turn, you can attach, like, five water energies in one turn if you want, but only to water Pokemon. And only with water energies. Alright. Uh, but you can do a maximum of 60 damage, which is the equivalent of Venusaur. Uh, is Venusaur's Solar Beam. Alright, but we got, uh, more Turtle set, uh, to go. He's got three water energies on him, so I don't need to do anything else with him. So I can start building up my other guys on my bench here. Um, but we can use, uh, Bubble. And we've gotten lucky with the heads. Uh, no Confuse Ray from Vulpix. Confuse Ray sucks. Alright, we're gonna draw another prize. Which is Mysterious Fossil, that's good. That means we can get Kabuto on the go. He's got an Eevee on the bench, which is good, because Eevee's uh, weak to fighting. So he's obviously got Flareon. And, oh, look at that! Perfect! We can get that Kabutop set up going right now, too. I am I got some things going for me in this part. A uh, little, uh, little bit of luck in this part. Lady Luck is on my side. Maybe I should use that to my advantage and go gambling today. I don't know. <laughs> But I, things are looking good for me. He's got a Flareon. That's not good, ever. He, well, it would be for me. I love Flareon. But I don't want to see it used against me. So, let's get Kabuto on the go. Uh, Kabutop's next turn. Yeah, Flareon. Flareon's got 70 hit points. Do 60 damage. One retreat cost. Uh, very useful. Yeah, let's just keep using Bubble, though. But I mean, he's got 70 hit points, that's not going to save him from uh, War Turtle's Bite, uh, which does 40 damage. So, so even if he brings him out and takes out my takes out my Squirtle, I got War Turtle on the go, I'm not worried. Let's get Kabutops out there. Almost got him fully set, like one more fighting energy and he can use Absorb. Overall, this has been a good part. <laughs> I gotta say, been a good part. Alright, we just need to take out one more of his Pokemon. Alright, there's his Flareon, which he's gonna own me with right now. Oh, he's gonna use plus... What is even the... Po oh, because he's using Quick Attack. Okay, so he could have killed me, because he doesn't have enough energy to use Flamethrower. I didn't realize that. I was gonna say that... <laughs> let's, let's do some overkill right now. So here's what we would have been doing here. Um... Let's get rid of these fighting energies. Let's see if we even have Blastoise. Okay, we do. He might have been my last prize. Uh, but what we would have been doing is getting no Blastoise here. And then, uh... <laughs> let me make sure he's got three energy... Yeah, he's got three energy costs. I, I knew that. I knew that. I wasn't... I wasn't skeptical. Alright, but... So Blastoise, like I said, is Pokemon power. You can attach any water energies to any of your water Pokemon. Uh, which is very helpful. And then uh, Hydro Pump can do up to 60 damage with two extra water energies attached, which I don't have. But Hydro Pump is gonna own face. <laughs> There's some Blastoise action right there. And our last energy. There's a water energy that might have been a little more useful earlier. There we go. Took the duel with Adam. He's gonna give us a Coliseum booster pack. He's gonna <laughs> pincer. We have enough of these already. We already have four. Oh, there's my other Magikarp. I've been looking for this forever. Now we finally got another Magikarp, I can use uh, Gyarados more effectively now. Remember that part where I wanted to use Gyarados? And I got a Pokeball energy card, which I don't think I've actually shown off yet. Uh, not energy, a uh, trainer. And then uh, Scoop Up, we've already seen Scoop Up. I haven't used it yet, but I've, sh I've showed it off. Alright, next time, uh, we're going to take on Jonathan here. I know his name because I dueled this guy many a time uh, when I originally played the game. And then the master there, Ken, will probably take him on too. But thanks for watching today's part of the Pokemon Trading Card Game, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.